Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is a really cool way to create a virtual instrument in BandLab. So first, we need to create some sounds. So first, tap on the plus icon, and then tap on Open Studio. Then tap on Virtual Instrument. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on a tab. Here I will tap on the Guitars tab. Then tap on a virtual instrument. Here I will tap on 12 string guitar. Now tap on the step sequencer icon and tap on the first square on row C3. Now drag the screen to the end of the first bar measure, then tap on the first square of the second bar measure. On row C sharp, which is just above C3. Now scroll to the end of the second bar measure and tap on the first square of the third bar measure on row D. Now repeat this until you have 12 notes on 12 bar measures. Now tap on the X icon and tap on the X icon again. Next tap on the mixer settings icon. Tap on the three dots on the virtual instrument track header. Then tap on duplicate. Then tap on the mixer settings icon again. Now double tap on the duplicate track header. Tap on the instrument name. Scroll through the tabs and tap on a tab. Here I will tap on the Voices tab. Then tap on a virtual instrument. Here I will tap on Lush Vocals. But when I tap on Play, I can only hear the 12 string guitar. So tap on the Step Sequencer icon. Now press your finger on the end of the first note and drag it so it's four squares long. Now tap on the square of the second note to delete it. Then tap on the same square the second note was on again. Now repeat with the other ten notes. Then tap on the X icon. So now I can hear both of the sounds. Now here I want the lush vocals in a higher octave. 
So tap on effects. Then tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs and tap on the pitch shift tab. Then tap on pitch shifter. Now drag the dot on the line below the word shift all the way to the right. So it says 12ST in the text box. This will make the vocals one octave higher. Then tap on the back arrow and tap on the X icon. Now when I tap on the play icon, I can hear both the virtual instruments with the vocals one octave higher. Now that we have our sounds, we need to merge them together. Tap on the mixer settings icon and tap on the solo icon on the virtual instrument tracks. Then tap on the mixer settings icon again. Now tap on the save icon. Then tap on save on the pop-up menu. Type in a name for your new sound. Then tap on Save. Then tap on the Exit icon. Tap on the Projects icon. Tap on the project you just saved. Then tap on the Download icon. And tap on Audio on the pop-up menu. The audio will now be saved to your download folder. Now tap on the back arrow two times. Now we need to import the sounds into the sampler. Tap on the plus icon. Tap on Open Studio. And tap on Sampler. Tap on the edit icon. Then tap on import audio or video. And tap on the project in your download folder that you just downloaded. Now tap on the edit icon. Then drag pad one to 11 other pads. Now tap on pad one. Then tap on edit. Now drag the trim markers so all the samples except the first one are greyed out. Then tap on Crop. And then tap on Done. Now tap on pad 2. Tap on edit. And this time drag the trim markers so all the samples except the second one is greyed out.
then tap on Crop. You may need to move the trim markers again so there is no gap at the beginning of the sound. And tap on Crop again. Then tap on Done. Now do the same on the other 10 pads, so each pad has a different sample. Then tap on the tick icon. Now that we've created our sampler virtual instrument, we can save it so we can use it in other projects. Tap on the three dots. Then tap on Save As on the pop-up menu. Type in a name for your virtual instrument. Then tap on Save. Now, in a new project, you can tap on the plus icon, tap on Sampler, tap on Browse Sample Kits, tap on My Kits, then tap on the name of your virtual instrument to use it in your project. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.